Hello, this is Double A with another WWE Supercard video for the date of Monday, November 21st. Initially, I was going to do a video going into my first, first King of the Ring rewards from season. Got a Neville and uh, Neville Harden and a Reigns SummerSlam, just as an FYI. But I decided to do a different video instead. Now, I don't have a lot of subscribers right now. Myself, I, I think I only have, at last check, about 170 subscribers. My, my video views, for the most part, averages around 30 or 40. To me, it's like, I, I, it's like if I get a lot of subscribers, fine. If I got if I, if I, I get fine. For the most part, though, if you're watching this right now, it means that you've cared enough to click on the video, give it a look, see, gave me a few moments every time, and went upon your merry way. And I will thank you for that. There are those of you that will view my videos on an ongoing basis that give me your time. And to those of you, I thank you for your support. For the most part, it's like you're, th you're there for me. And I and it's like I'm very appreciative of the fact that out of all the videos on YouTube, and I know there's a lot. There you have your you have your heavy hitters like Super Zama Got Barbecue. You have Luigi. You have Bad Lad Dad. You have Biggie Dude. You have Divine Inspired. So many names I could drop here. So many super card videos that are out there. But the fact that you've taken the time out of your day. Out of your out of your time frame, to get a little bit of that time to view my videos, I'm I'm thankful of that because you you really don't have to because there's so many great quality streams out there that you could definitely watch, but you've chosen to view mine, and I'd be thankful for that. I am forever grateful for that because it really makes these videos we're doing. Like I said, I was originally just going to do a rewards video, call it a day, but decided to do a do a different type of video where I know a lot of you are familiar with what I'm about to discuss and what I'm about to talk about. So, this is my ladder rewards. In season two... I was try I was pretty much struggling trying to get through. I was about 3000 games away from my 30,000 game ladder reward. I would have been happy with a SummerSlam one cuz it would have been all likely a pro to card of mine and I would have gone a little bit further. However, let's take you back in time a bit to the supercar twitter page now i like supercar don't get me wrong um they put out it's like i've been with the game since since basically 2014 august 14th 2014 august or, or june one of those days but i've been with the game for this long and i've played games and left them I've tried some out and let some slip by the wayside, but Supercard, WWE Supercard, is something that I've been with for a while. And I took a break along most of the year where I took a break around the time WrestleMania Tier started, came back at SummerSlam, was ready for Season 3. Here, take it's like, read this with me. Amount, when, Super, when Season 3 came out, they put out a Twitter message that said that the amounts for Season 1... And season two are combined, and that players might hit a few rewards automatic automatically when season three launches. That would have put me in terms of getting back into the game here real quick, where I was at previously at the thirty thousand. Like I said, I was about three thousand away from my thirty thousand reward, but. I only got two. I will never see that other ladder reward. 
that I it's like that's gone. I it's like I can't work my way towards that because like I said, it's gone. It's it's no longer there. <sighs> Trying to get back into this. Just having issues. So yeah, basically my record bumped up to fifty six thousand five hundred and seventy four. Well, that's I've played some games since season three, but basically, as you could see, based on where I would have been at before, at about twenty eight thousand, you can check out my previous videos on my win on my on my on my record, so you can see this for sure. But basically, they decided to just give out two cards. So, I didn't get the two female ones. I only got one, and I only got a male superstar. Now, I thought there might have been, like, a little glitch or something or a problem. So, I so I emailed, basically emailed Facebook, not Facebook, emailed Supercar to let them know. Sometime after that, they put a thing on Facebook, which, to tell you the truth, they use Facebook, but not really. And the fact that they referred people to a... To a message on a page that they're rarely ever on. Because I can't tell you the amount of times that I'm on Facebook. People have questions about the game. But there's really not that much information conveyed on there. Since a lot of their information is conveyed on their Twitter page. But. Hold on. Okay. Um, you're going to notice a slow skip here um, for you. Nothing for me. I had to step away for about an hour to do some stuff, take care of stuff. So I'm going to get back to this video. Uh, before I go any further, I'm going to be remiss if I don't include Kill Moose Kill on the list earlier. Uh, really recommend for mature audiences due to language, but definitely want to include in the list. But anyhow, getting back to what we're talking about. Um, on their Facebook page, one that they really don't use as much because they utilize their Twitter a lot, they referred you to this, saying that they did things by design, said some confusion, they wanted to not, they wanted to prevent blowout deck. I think a lot of people were thinking that, oh, if I bought packs, get myself up to a leader, then I could claim my rewards and get those. I mean, if they just like locked it out, whatever you were when you started. Then you're fine. So I can understand that aspect, but at the same time, it's like prior to this, they never mentioned that. So, good customer service would be would be to say, hey, you know, we know we we know you've been with us through some good and tough time, through some good times, through some bad times, but you know, we thank you for sticking with us. We thank you for your loyalty with us. So what we're gonna do is when season three starts. We're going to give you a couple of free cards within your new tier. And that's our way of saying thank you. The way I thanked you earlier in this video. But that's our way of thanking you for being with us for days, for months, for years. For just sticking with us. And we thank you for that. If they did that, then all this arguments, all these, all these issues, all these problems wouldn't have been existing. I mean, you might still have had people complaining here or there. But for the most part, it would be like, you know, that's, it. you would have felt like more appreciative if they did that as opposed to saying, you're going to get all this stuff and then say, oh, sorry, you're only getting it two. So, so yeah, that would have gone a long way to making things better. But the decision was made to say, okay, you're going to get this stuff. And then, oh, oh well, you know, we changed our mind. We're not, we're, we're not going to do that. Left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. So, just, just an FYI, just my two cents worth, can handle it a lot better, and giving people the proper expectations, so that when season three became, then people weren't like cursing, being angry, being pissed, and just writing the game off altogether. I mean, you could have had more of an audience. You could have had more people, Apple bringers of money down the line, as opposed to pissing everyone off first thing into the season. So, 
like I said, it's just my it's just an FYI. It's just it's just how you do good customer service. Which some days they're kind of lacking on. So, so that's going to be it for me today. It's a double A with WW Supercard saying see you next time. So long from ringside. Goodbye, everybody.